Holy fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Greetings world, we are unknown. Hello Luke Rodgoski. Hello Sabrina Rivera. A few days ago while chatting away in a conversation pertaining we are change.org, your names became the darkest part of the topic. Matter of fact some of the issues brought up were then researched and are still being investigated by unknown. A story has been brought to our attention about a man named Dan Wallace. Upon further investigation we have learned that Luke is in fact not the original founder of WeAreChange.org. But Luke remains to take credit for what his old friend Dan started. Dan Wallace, a 23-year-old whose father, a firefighter, was in one of the World Trade Center towers on September 11, 2001. He had been trapped in an elevator. As Dan had been making a speech he stated that they were given an opportunity to hear the radio broadcasts of the firemen on 9-11, his dad called out over the radio expressing that he was trapped but he was going to try to hack his way out. Unfortunately his dad never did make it home that day. With that on his plate, like most of us, he seemed to reject the government's narrative of what happened that September 11. Dan was an ardent activist who showed no fear when confronted by police at street actions at WTC Building 7 and at the New York Stock Exchange. Dan was an eloquent speaker, both on videos of the street. We're down here every Saturday at the World Trade Center Fast Station, you know, trying to get the truth out there. That's what this country's about. Truth, you know, it's America, freedom of speech. He came here on his first day back to work after summer relief, after having a hernia operation. He came here on his first day back to work. He came and died for his country. Now, a true patriot will defend his country against any enemy, foreign or domestic. So, that's all I'm asking. Just look at the evidence. St. Mark's Church, where he gave a moving oration before a packed crowd in a Sunday night presentation. Um... My father was uh, a firefighter, came from a family of firefighters. My grandfather was a firefighter. Uh, his, his father was a firefighter, so it basically runs in my family. My brother's actually going to be a firefighter. So this, this runs in my family. I mean, my father loves his job. There's nothing more in the world, I mean, except for probably his family. He, he loved his job to death. He would not do anything other than that. He um, actually, the summer before 9-11 was, he was on medical leave. He had a hernia operation. So he was with us the whole summer. Thank God I got to spend the last summer with my father. You know, he was went on vacations, got the whole summer spent with him. And his first day back to work was September 11th. And um, they wanted to put him on light duty, meaning they wanted to keep him uh, in the firehouse, answering the phones. He refused. He said, I'm a fireman, not a secretary. He said, I, I'm, I'm going to work, no matter what. And I could just imagine if my father wasn't there that day, I could imagine how he would feel that he didn't go with his brothers in, into, into those buildings. My father would be a very, very broken man. And, um, you know, ever since, I, I, ever since that day, I believed this story for, the official story for all about two minutes. And uh, I, I, I always have my questions, you know, my family had their questions, and uh, the government sent us the 9-11 the uh, commission, or I should say omissions, really, but um, they, they sent us that, and I read the whole thing, and as I'm reading the whole thing, I, it, was, it was just incredible that, that the lies in, in this book, it's like, I don't, I don't remember how many pages, it's like a thousand pages, something like that. But I say it's not short or long, whatever. But it was, it was just it hurt me to read this book, and and then I, I researched it on the internet, and I seen, I, I noticed the little squibs coming out of the building as, as they're coming down, because I seen it a million times as everybody else did, and I'm, I'm like, gee, what's that? I, I'm you know I'm wondering what's going on, 
So um, a friend of mine actually gave me a loose change, and I seen that, and I was amazed. I was so amazed when I seen it. I, I seriously, I broke down. I, I didn't sleep that night. I was just insanely like distraught about. He demanded answers as he started an organization, New York 9-11 Truth, that still runs today as We Are Change. WeAreChange.org is now ran by a shill bill named Luke Rudkowski. Luke, was a friend of Dan's, at least before Dan was found dead on the morning of Monday, January 29, 2007. The son of Lt. Robert Wallace, Dan's intent to bring truth to a community of people who needed it but has nearly gone uncredited. As Luke took to Facebook to describe his feelings, he wrote, We carry on the fight in the memory of Dan Wallace. He is in our hearts now, as his dad has been in our hearts already. We continue the mission that Dan felt so strongly about, to strive to expose the truth of 9-11 and to bring the real 9-11 criminals to justice. Dan, you are with us, we'll never forget you, and we promise to make you proud. Today if you look at the We Are Change website and the surrounding properties of the We Are Change organization, there is no mention of a Dan Wallace. People working for We Are Change seem to not even know he existed. Sabrina Rivera, Dan's girlfriend and the only one around Dan when he mysteriously died in his sleep, was already cheating on Dan with Luke, and then had a relationship with Luke openly after Dan died for two more years according to reports. Isn't this a problem? Luke Rodkowski is a Polish-American investigative journalist, activist, worked for Alex Jones Infowars. Luke now owns and operates a large organization for profit, We Are Change, originally started by Dan Wallace, as a non-profit organization, New York 9-11 Truth. Dated December 10, 2012 was an indictment that accused Rudkowski of fraud for under false pretenses, collecting money from individuals who were led to believe that the donations were going to be allocated towards the 9-11 first responders' medical expenses as well as the equipment expenses for We Are Change. Back in March 2009, Luke and two others were arrested for attempting to question Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Luke set up a chip in to pay for the legal costs for all three people. However, it quickly changed to just be the Luke Legal Defense Fund. According to the chip in widget Luke was able to raise $4,241.55. On the New York State Court Unified Court System, a search for Lucas Rodkowski brings up another serious question. If Lucas was able to raise $4,000 for the Legal Defense Fund, why does he have a legal aid lawyer? What has he done with the money he raised for a lawyer? On December of 2009 in a Facebook status post Luke Rodkowski's ex-girlfriend, Sabrina Rivera, speaks out on his exploitation of the late Dan Wallace. In the status updates Sabrina also went on to explain that Luke used Dan Wallace's name for his own fame and still has his belongings. In actuality, the real founder of We Are Change is Dan Wallace, stated the author of a post written on Cryptome.org under the name Spartacus at Reborn.com. Luke Rodkowski routed all donations totaling over $85,000, according to the chip in Flash application gauge to his private bank account. Proof has been located in the indictment filed in the state of New York, where you can see he was also paying college tuition at Brooklyn College. Luke Rodkowski withdrew $20,000 from We Are Change's PayPal account. It is interesting to see that We Are Change stopped using the chip-in app which showed how much was collected and a description of purpose of the donation. They have replaced it with a non-transparent PayPal payment button. In a post on his website wearechange.org he stated, All expenditures will be presented to the group with statements presented on the first meeting of every month detailing expenses and money accrued. At this time investigating this claim, there are no such records present. Where does the money go? It seems he has made a trip on business to Mexico to report a story as of late. 
In a video on YouTube he even mocks what he calls trolls as he flaunts stacks of notes in the video basically acting on the claims that he is a fake news reporter and money thief. A statement made by members state that We Are Change New York has allowed Luke Rodkowski to become a dictator and allowed him to overrule democratically voted will of the members of We Are Change. This breaks the rule in the code of conduct that this is a leaderless movement. The Crotch Shot radio show has obtained Luke's financial records from Dallas Carter. The only deposits came from the We Are Change PayPal account. This is the money supporters donated going into his private bank account, where he paid for personal things, like college tuition. Is this the kind of truth the truth movement supports? Does the truth movement support free Masonic entities like Craig Fitzgerald? I know what it second means. degree of the Scottish Rite means that I have passed through all, all three degrees of craft or Blue Lodge masonry. It has been evident that Luke Rodkowski does not mind having associations with people like Craig Fitzgerald. Yet people like Craig Fitzgerald in the truth community provide 25% truth and 75% distorted information they make you believe lies and then once they have gained your trust, take you off in the wrong direction. How Saudi Arabia, the United States, did 9-11. The proof is in the documents. These shills are extremely dangerous to the cause. They keep us contained in large disinfo nets to contain, diffuse, suppress and dissolve the truth. They keep potential truthers from looking at the real agenda, the real enemies, and all the time they are helping the elite to kill time and therefore kill us. Precious time we don't have. With that being said, join us as we emerge from a shadowy darkness to hold them accountable. We are change, we are starting today holding you accountable for not only being thieves, but tyrants to those who speak out against you. Remember the We Are Change from Oshkosh. The chapter you removed from every part of We Are Change after you discovered they were publishing information regarding all these issues. We represent them, the truth movement, and above all Dan Wallace. We are change you surf the whole enterprise from the grassroots not for profit Dan Wallace made. We are starting a project that will make you remember and acknowledge Dan Wallace, the real founder of We Are Change. Unknown will deliver. Do not overlook. Do not disbelieve. Do not misunderstand. Be afraid. And as always expect us.